Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to be creating a henna inspired mandala right behind me. I just painted this wall a beautiful shade of green and I'm really excited because I just moved everything out of my home office into a separate studio space. So now I get to transform this room into my ultimate filming zone so I can finally create some more videos for you guys. So I'm really excited to start showing you step-by-step step how I create this mandala. So if you guys are ready, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I did was get a compass out and I'm using a colored pencil. As you can kind of see, my wall isn't 100% smooth, so I kind of have to go over it a few times just to make sure that the colored pencil is actually adhering to the wall. And as you can see, I'm having to be a little firm with it as well, so keep that in mind if you do this yourself. And as you saw, my compass wasn't the largest one in the world, so in order to create larger circles, I am using a string attached to another colored pencil. And as you can see, I had to be a little firm with it. And in order to get different size circles, all you have to do is basically tie knots in the string as you go. So again, I had to go over it quite a few times just to make sure I could really see it on the wall. I'm not going to lie, it was pretty satisfying though. It was a very fun first part of the project. And here you go, I kind of had about four different guidelines for myself just to make sure the mandala stayed on track and being somewhat symmetrical. So the next part of the process is getting the paint all squared away. I opted for a shade of pink that I think is super beautiful and I think will be a really nice contrast with the green on the wall. And I will say this paint opener is absolutely a must have. It makes opening up these jars so easy and it is very satisfying. Here is the other color. You can see it's just a little bit lighter. And in order to create a third shade using the leftover green that I already had, I'm going to mix some of this pink into it and just mix it all together to create a lighter green shade that will still look really nice with the two pinks that I have. So I'm just using a palette knife just to mix it all together. Look how beautiful it is and you can really see that lighter green come to life. So for the first part of the process, I am starting with a swirl, as many of my mandalas begin with. So I am just kind of eyeballing it at this point. The center is really not 100% important. As you can see, I have that first circle there as kind of my guideline. And I'm using a different paintbrush here, so it's good. I will say, if you're going to do this, definitely have many different sized brushes. It'll just make your life so much easier. I honestly wish I had a few different sizes myself. So I'm just going in and just kind of, as you can see, using different colors as I feel is right. So once I did the center there, I decided to go in with a little bit of the green just to kind of make it less pink because I really filled it in there. Um, and then I'm going around. As you can see, that circle guideline really did help. And I will say in the beginning, you know, I would say step back from your work a little bit at a time as you go, just so you can really take it all in. Because as you can see, I'm working with my eyes very, very close. And I think that's the hardest part for me going from such small scale, you know, doing henna on skin to trying to do it now on a wall is that it is so much bigger. And so the perspective change really does help. One of the reasons I decided to paint this mandala is because, I don't know, I had this blank white wall for the longest time and I don't know, just to give myself some inspiration, I plan to do a lot of fun different videos here in this space and so I really wanted something to just kind of inspire me in those off moments when I'm just kind of reflecting on what it is I want to do. So that was kind of my intention with this space, is just to create an environment that is really just all about me finding my own unique essence. 
feel like a lot of us artist types maybe tend to be a little bit more on the maximalist side of things. Like if I could, I would literally just paint everything in my house. So this is one start and instead of using wallpaper, it's nice because I know that it is 100% unique. I will say, as a henna artist, I really do love the henna cone. It is definitely my tool of choice. But what is great about the brush is that it allows you to create much, much larger creations. So here you can kind of see just adding little touches. I think the dots really did add a lot of variety, if I'm being honest, because, you know, I was doing a lot of just lines and really thick elements, so having some of those really tiny dots, I just feel brings a little bit more life to the mandala design itself. As a henna artist, we can oftentimes put ourselves into a box and only want to do our art on skin. But in actuality, our skills can very much transfer to many different surfaces, as you can see here. It's really a decorative art form, which you can apply to beautifying not just skin, but literally your entire home. circle and I'm very short so very soon here I'm gonna be having to get on a ladder so if you don't have one and you want to do something like this you'll definitely need to invest in a either a full-on ladder like I have or at least a maybe three-tiered step stool so here we go with the ladder I can finally reach the top Here you can see it's really starting to come together with all of the clusters of dots, just adding little details as much as I can. And I didn't have a ton of time because I really wanted to get this up and running as soon as possible. So I did end up doing this in less than three hours, which is kind of crazy. So <laughs> um, I am someone that working fast you just kind of get in this flow um you know you're not really giving yourself a whole ton of time to overthink things and you know i think with henna one of the things that i really love about it is that it doesn't have to be 100 perfect to be beautiful and you know for me i think you know i am my own <laughs> toughest critic as they say so i think it really is a good lesson and just kind of letting go of those preconceived ideas and just doing art for art's sake is, is just my favorite thing to do in the world. Really gets me out of my head because I do tend to overthink a lot. Um, and yeah, oh my God, from this angle, I, I just love it, I just love it. I cannot tell you how often during this process I was just thinking that Oh man, this is not really turning out how I want, but I kept going anyways, and I'm really glad that I did because honestly, look at that. Like from these angles, oh my god, I literally am obsessed. And if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw me add even more details to the wall. In this video, we're just showing you the mandala process itself. Um, but I just love sitting on my couch, which is facing this wall 
and just like zoning out and looking at this mandala i don't know it's just so meditative for me it's like the perfect backdrop the colors really really just go so well together i love pink and green like i cannot tell you how much i love it so let me know what you guys think below of this mandala and try it out for yourself